Hi guys, welcome to my winter garden. It's Cheryl here today. If you're new here, welcome. Please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy gardening. You can see we had a few inches of snow here. and I'm in zone 7B and I'm just going to take you out toward the back yard. That's where we garden as well as I have a cutting garden, but we're not going up there today, but I will be taking you up there soon so you can see what that looks like in the winter. And so uh, I'm just going to give you an overview of the back. And I'm going to walk over it so you can see these beautiful conifers. And you can see how pretty they look with the snow on the branches. And then we're going to go over and see what the birds are doing. And then I think the uh, garden looks so pretty with the snow on the trees. I think that's a pretty uh, picture. I should take a picture of that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, um, as you can see, I do have a large backyard and we try to garden. It's just uh, my husband and myself that we try to garden. We don't have a lot of plants. We do try to propagate and multiply a lot of the plants that we do have in the yard and if you haven't visited my garden check out I do have a playlist I will link it below so you can see what it looks like in the spring summer fall and this is uh, winter with snow so I think um, the snow makes the uh, backyard look very pretty and you can see we have a bird feeder there they go um, they're eating the seeds that they've knocked down onto the ground. I'm going to try to get a closer look so you could see them. Uh, some of them were like, I think, um, look like finches and some bluebirds and cardinals, of course. But the red cardinals were a little shy and they wouldn't come close to the bird feeder when I was close. And I, so I couldn't get a good look at them on the camera. And so over here uh, in this area we have... Um, azaleas and hydrangeas under the snow there's cone flowers and lilies day lilies not over this way there's no day lilies but there's a few cone flowers and you can kind of see um, my hydrangeas I have not gone out yet I, I, I did this in the fall before I haven't gone out to cut back last year's blooms but I probably would do that um, in the next month or so uh, I try I don't have to try to do it before it gets windy because they like to blow everywhere but this is what they look like with the snow on it they'll be happy because they do like a lot of water and you can see the snow bending on my viburnum I need another viburnum that one is really pretty when it blooms and the snow is on more on the back side of that tree Okay, so here's another view. There's two of my my uh, friends, <laughs> family members, playing in the snow. Okay, so I'm going to try to get closer to the bird feeders in a second here, but this is a um, Cleveland pear tree, and I think that the branches look beautiful with the snow on the edges. There's a few pears on there that the birds may still eat, but I think between the squirrels, they cleaned them out. Okay, so let's let's see if we can get closer and take a look at the birds. And so, uh, let me know what you're doing if you garden, what you do in the winter time. Um, I'm not very good at seeds propagation I may try a few I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm not sure yet because I, I don't really have a grow light even though I do have space for it but I don't so you can see there there he is um, some of these birds are really fat so um, we expect to have a lot of babies here in the spring okay so can you see there is one of the birds and I uh, I don't know what kind it is because I can't can't really see, but there they're fighting, <laughs> fighting over the food. 
They should be coming back in a minute here. There. There you go. I, I try to get as close as I can so you can see them. But um, if when it's really cold and there's not and you don't have a lot of uh, plants in your yard that um, develop seeds, it's best to put a feeder out just so they can have something to eat and stick around in your garden for the spring so they can eat all those fleas, ticks, and things of that nature. We don't want them eating worms because worms are great for your garden and soil because they aerate it and fertilize at the same time. I always thought about getting one of those worm uh, composter things that you could put under your sink, but I have not tried it yet. If anybody has one of those uh, worm composters, let me know how you like it and uh, if you would recommend it. And if, if so, what brand do you have? I should put one under my desk here at work. <laughs> so the worms will be here, but I don't think it's... Uh, going to be warm enough here because sometimes it's it, it can get cold. So you can see um, in the winter time there's not a lot of bushes and things in the in the woods and so you can kind of see far in the woods than you can in the spring which I, I don't go in there because it may be some snakes and other creatures in there that I don't want to run into. So I hope you enjoy my winter garden tour. And like I said, we'll go to the cutting garden soon. But look, even Mr. Teddy enjoyed the snow. There he is. And he's going to come back around running crazy in a second here. Okay, here we go with Mr. Teddy, and um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed my winter garden tour, and that you'll come back to see what it looks like in the spring, but if you don't, and you still want to see what it looks like, uh, it's changed over the years, but I will link my gardening playlist so you can see what it looks like throughout the year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It'll help my channel. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care and be safe.